A group by its domain is always paired with a message transfer agent. This agent is the software that does the work of a domain. It sends messages to other domains and sends and receives messages from its owned post offices and can perform a number of other functions. In the admin console, you can find your MTA objects by clicking here in the left panel. This system has two MTAs, one for each of my domains. It is important to know where the MTA does its work, so let me bring up the file browser on my SUSE server. Here is the domain folder. In it is the WP Domain DB file. This is the domain database. It is what truly defines a groupwise domain. There are a number of dictionary files, these with the DC extension. Here is the .mta file, known as the startup file, where some of the configuration settings are stored. It is named after the domain object, corpHQ in this case. There are also folders collectively known as the message queues. The WPCSIN, WPCSOUT, and the MS local folder structures are where message files are held while in transit or while being processed. There is also a WPGate folder. If this domain also contains a GUIA object, then this is where messages are processed as they are sent and received from external mail servers. Back to the admin console, I can click on an MTA to bring up its properties. Now there are a lot of settings here, but I'm going to focus on the ones you are most likely to interact with. On the General tab, I want to point out three items. The platform information here, make sure it matches. This button that allows you to remotely stop and start the agent if needed. And this link here is a very handy shortcut to the web console of the agent itself. The Agent Settings tab is where you specify the IP address and port information, as well as where you specify your secure connections. This is also where you can and probably should set up a user and password for accessing the web interface of the MTA. I want to point out that this user can be anything you want it to be. It isn't linked to a groupwise user or to a directory source. It is only used locally to restrict access to the web page for this agent. The Log Settings tab is what you would expect. When troubleshooting, set this to verbose, and if you are tracking message flow issues, then you definitely want to enable message logging. Message logging also enables some statistic options and adds functionality to the web interface. SSL settings is where you can check on your certificate. Usually the only scheduled event for an MTA is the directory synchronization. This keeps your groupwise user information updated from an LDAP directory source. And speaking of LDAP, the MTA can provide a read-only LDAP interface into the GroupWise address book. This can be very handy for Mac mail users. And the last tab is where you configure address book synchronization with an exchange system if desired. This may require additional licensing, so check with your account rep if that's a concern, and please consult the documentation when setting this up. And finally, the Diagnostic button here can provide a quick summary of most of the settings we've just examined. Well, that's the quick introduction to the MTA object. We hope this information is helpful, and we thank you for watching.